Hello all, it's the Sivart here. I'm just uh, here to show you guys what's up with GameMaker and Windows 8. So the first thing you should note is that uh, you kind of have to do quite a bit of setup to get it to work at all. You have to go into Preferences inside of GameMaker Studio and then go to the Windows 8 tab and then here you'll have to do a couple things. First is acquire developer license. You'll have to go to the website and sign up for a developer license. It is free, but that only allows you to do some testing, right? Like you can you can stick apps on your own computer then, but to actually stick it on the store, you still have to uh, acquire a different um, license. And that one does cost money. But anyway, after you acquire a license, you have to get the Windows 8 SDK, which you can get by installing Visual Studio. That works with Windows 8, so the latest version. And after all that, then you can hit the check Windows 8 SDK, and then it'll search your computer for it. And then, as you can see, I passed. It was not easy to do, though. I had to do a bunch of research for it. So you can go into the help section of GameMaker and then find out exactly how to do it. So anyway, once you have all that working, then you can hit this tab here, Windows 8. And it is it does say JavaScript there. So that means that it is running off of JavaScript, which is not as powerful as an EXE. So you should just know that ahead of time. So I just quickly made a little application here. And then you hit play. So I mean, first impression here, it takes a lot longer to do this. So when you're testing out an app for Windows 8 and you want to do a lot of troubleshooting, you probably want to run it on normal Windows and not Windows 8 because it takes a while to load it in. So I noticed a bunch of inconsistencies with this Windows 8 so far. I mean, they're bugs because it's new. But um, as you can see, all these boxes here fell over. Uh, earlier testing with, with not Windows 8, just with Windows, uh, they didn't fall over, which they shouldn't because normal physics doesn't do that. So another thing I noted is that the last few times I tested out this app in Windows 8 is that the game froze. There we go. There it goes again. It's frozen. No idea why. So it's buggy. So I'm not I'm I'm not going to advise you to go right now and start pouring all your efforts into making Windows 8 app and then like get a Windows 8 um license to go put stuff on the store because as of right now it's it's buggy but I do think that in the future this is really cool and as you can see you, you, with um, with GameMaker there's a whole bunch of functions that allow you to do stuff like you can actually add settings you can add search you can allow sharing options anyway there's a whole bunch you can do but there are many limitations like for instance you can't use the keyboard like just the plain old keyboard functions just don't work for some reason. Uh, I'm assuming that's because Microsoft wants all these apps to be compatible with touch. So keyboard functions would ruin the user experience for touch screens, which is kind of lame in my opinion. But you do get, whenever you test it, it actually sticks an app on your uh, start menu here. And so I have physics playground. It's just a little picture I set there. That's that's kind of another thing though. There's a lot of customization for the apps. That's not just inside the app itself. Um, but yeah, it, it's interesting that with testing it would stick it right there. So anyway, then you can head back to GameMaker itself and uh, and just look around. So here in the Windows 8 tab, okay, we have different names. We have the display name, the package name, and the package display name, and the publisher name, and the version. Uh, orientations, there's different orientations, right? Because on some things you can flip it, which is a little, a little annoying for app creators, you know. Um, use internet and use search. I'm not positive what those do. I think that'll be more for allowing the program to do something, but then... Uh, the user will have to hit the allow button. Not positive again. I haven't been testing it for too long. This is just the first impressions thing. Also, you'll need to you'll need to have a splash screen. So this is the picture that shows when it's loading your app, and then you'll need to have a logo, which you'll need to um, have. This will be, of course, the logo is the picture on the start screen. 
Now it's it gives you the resolution of this picture that it needs to be, but this one it doesn't, and it actually took me a while because it it kept um, not finishing compiling, and so I had to look through the uh, the compile uh, tab over here, and it finally told me that actually it has to be a certain resolution, which was like 620 by 300, just a strange resolution, and it doesn't tell you that information here, so. That's just kind of nice to know. And then there's also these other icons, because with different tile sizes and, and stuff, I didn't actually add these. They were just default. But a whole bunch of different tile sizes. So you'll actually have to make one, two, three, four, five different icons for your game, which can be a bit annoying. Um, and then you have different scaling here. And installation. So that's pretty much it um now if you don't like do what I did um like it, what it'll have is it'll be full screen with a border around it and then it'll be your game window so I use this script here which will allow you to set the width and height of any room so if you use this right like at the start of the room you can set it to this display get width and display get height this will allow you to set the resolution of your room to the screen size of the user because nobody really wants to use an app that's like small it's in the middle of their screen that's that's no fun you want it to be full resolution the full size of your screen that's that's the only reason windows 8 apps are any good um, because they run slower and yeah oh well they do run on apps or like on touch screens so I suppose it's worth it but uh, but yeah because of the glitches as in it's freezing and oh yeah let me let me try running it in Windows see what happens here um, yeah as you can see none of these things fell over and they seem to be working same way but yeah none of them fell over initially meaning that physics actually works so the physics system in Windows 8 is a little bit messed up right now and it's not freezing. And I mean, I would submit a bug report to Game Maker, but I don't really know what to tell them, right? Well, I run Windows 8 app, and then after a while, it freezes and doesn't give me an error report. There's there's not a lot I can do there. So I mean, I I love Windows 8, but I I believe that hmm, that YoYo Games needs to work on their compatibility and support for it, because I I'd love to make more Windows 8 apps but it's just kind of annoying that uh, that it's that hard to do. So, anyway, I hope this review was at least slightly helpful for you, and hopefully by the time you're viewing this video, it is working. <laughs> but as of right now, it's not, so...